uh, making this video for my sweetheart who's in uh, Germany right now. So today is the 28th of July. It's a Sunday, like 10.34 in the morning here in the Philippines. So I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. This is the house behind me. As we fan around, <clears throat> do a quick update on what we've been doing and things and how things have changed. So I hope it's not too loud. Not too many changes outside the gate. It's been raining a lot. This is the rainy seasons, <clears throat> but the plants are nice and pretty. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is our beautiful gates, by the way, with the initials right there. As we go through the gate here, we're forever changing things because we've only been here for seven months, so yard is different. No, it's not different. Just a lot, some weeds. But we did have some screen doors put on all around and curtains. There's a lot of changes inside. This is the yard. Some stuff I'm working on over here. Looks a mess. Breaking down some pallets. Keeping the good wood, getting rid of the old wood. Our banana trees that we thought when we got here in January would just die, but they kind of recovered. We even got some bananas. One of our coconut trees did get infested by some type of beetle pretty much destroyed it up there but we do have a uh, young banana tree with some bananas as they're called senoritas and we do have a little baby banana tree coming up I just need to put something around it to protect it and our two grills covered up but it looks, they look good, got more coming. We thought these four here would fall down, but they kind of repaired themselves. The leaves was all splintered. Some of them are looking a little shaky. There's our truck. And, uh, well, I built kind of a crude makeshift, like, little platform to help with some of the dirt because as you see it's just all gravel so let me get my little house shoes on you know you got a pair of slippers for inside and outside so some old ones there and this is our terrace not too no changes here uh, we got a generator under this blue tarp that we have had to use a couple times thanks to my wife's brother-in-law in Germany bless his soul who left all that for us had to hang a tarp up because it gets really windy and rain comes in <clears throat> but this is the terrace this is my favorite spot to sit during the day have some coffee watch everything go by brand new screen doors we had put on the one here was very shaky so my wife cousin hooked her up with somebody who builds this stuff so we had about oh no six seven of them put on and this is the living room this used to be a kitchen, but now it's a living room. Got a little ice maker. Boy, that comes in handy. Only cost about $100. But my wife had been very busy since the furniture arrived from Germany back in March, I want to say. Middle of March, end of March. So she got rid of a tremendous amount of boxes. And she set this up like this. This table was already here. This one was up in a bedroom. She had it restored along with these shrunks. 
very nice. As you see, we still got some stuff we got to get rid of. So it's a work in progress, but it's set up very nice. <clears throat> got some wine. <clears throat> Excuse me. Some tables, chairs. This is real pretty. They took this frame here, this cabinet, and sanded it down and repainted. Some of the glass was broken. They had more glass shelves and stuff made. So they did an excellent job on that. This is the living room, how it looks. And look at the curtains and the screen doors. She had somebody make all the curtains for her. We, have, we had these nice sliding screen doors put in. So you can open up the glass doors and get some nice air in. You close this back. I had furniture in my apartment, so this table was one that we bought, I bought in the apartment I had in Germany. But a lot of it, well, all this comes from Germany. But it's really nice how she decorated everything. Not so much echo. Because before, when it wasn't much, when there was no furniture in here, this place looked very big, and I often say it, it would get smaller as we put furniture around and how she laid all the carpets. It's very nice. The flowers, yes, they're plastic, but they're very nice. They add a nice touch. So, plus we have a lot more stuff that are still in boxes in a couple rooms. But this is our little place to watch TV. If I will step back, it's really nice. We haven't put up too many little trinkets except the globe she puts up. She put up, it lights up. TV shrunk. I see a couple things I forgot to move. I'm sure my wife will notice it, like, wow, where did that come from on the table? <laughs> uh, the furniture we had made out of a old tree, and we have some of it upstairs. And here is some more nice stuff. Let me put this down, what I'm carrying. Curtains made here. We had another screen door made for right here. And that's our son's terrace. So, so we can open up everything and let some air in. Very nice how the curtains are done. Just let them fall nicely. So we'll do uh, a shot on the stairs. Here's a little overview of the dining room area. And as we go up this beautiful stair here and look back down at the living room, that's what you see. And up here we have bedrooms and there's some more furniture, a few little things hanging out, robot vacuum cleaner. We uh, got four of those, I think. Yes, they help out tremendously because that room is huge. So this would be uh, dining. This is your room right here. 
Your mom did a lot of work. This was full of boxes from the doorway all the way to that doorway. But we did a lot of work. We just have another room we need a lot of things cleared out of, which is Christine's room. Because this is a really nice bed we had in Germany. It's brand new. And some of my drum equipment. But Donnie, this is your room, so come on over and visit. I guess I could go to the balcony here. Got to get out here and sweep. So you got to, and yes, it has air conditioning. And that bumping is me on the screen door. So this room leads out to the balcony that uh, overlooks the village a little bit in the yard. So you can see the mess down there. There's the living room. And this concrete slab, we're gonna build a, uh, like a gazebo or something over that to probably sit out, which would be nice. So we still got some work up here. If you see some things. This is Christine's room that's full of a lot of things. We're probably gonna start working on that the end of this year but it's full of a lot of boxes right now there's the neighbor's yard and ours overview of the coconut banana guava tree mangungai tree and a view of the neighborhood and the dogs. So, yeah, we'll work on Christine's room because it's basically a storage room right now, which is a shame, but we'll tackle that toward the end of the year or beginning of the year. We gotta do a little coordination with getting some things moved out of that because Lalin wants her room. So it's our bedroom, it's a mess. I got a computer room. It's a mess too, so ain't no sense in showing it right now, but this is another door that leads out to the balcony. We got a little hallway here where we can go down to the so-called dirty kitchen. We just call it a kitchen. We have lights too here. And it's a second way for Christine or whoever to go out of their room. So we're winding down the stairs. So if I catch it on the camera. That's how it looks as you're circling down into the kitchen so we have a lot of work to do here so we haven't really even started doing anything right now we just been trying to improve what was here so it's not so much like a dirty kitchen but a kitchen like these these racks this was one rack five levels high i cut it in half and made two because i needed something to <clears throat> put all the pots and pans on because it was in some like old plastic racks and that's the most popular thing here but i wanted something that was durable that you can slide out all by itself and clean behind because there's all kind of stuff Lots of bugs in the Philippines. <clears throat> and here we still have a whole bunch of things that we bought 
or my wife bought years before. Dishes, pots, pans, silverware, you name it. We kind of plan on maybe having shelves go all the way around here to put all that stuff in, get rid of all that. Those metal racks we're going to keep, of course, and build a storage room outside and use those. So, yes, it's a work in progress. And if you go out the kitchen door to the back, we have the garden. And of course, I built another little way to step out so you're not so much stepping in the dirt. From, uh, we got a lot of leftover material. So I made that little landing, which is very good. I just need to shore it up a little bit. But this is the yard here. Between us and the neighbors, we did a tremendous amount of work keeping it from being a jungle because you see that stuff back there is ever approaching. So I got a couple weed eaters that I get out here every two weeks and keep this stuff from getting out of control. So we did a tremendous amount of work. That's a project I'm gonna be working on, get, breaking all that wood down. But this is the garden. I got some chili plants, but right now, <clears throat> like a worm infestation. They're eating up everything. And there's some more. Planted some bell pepper in this spot. So I hope it comes up. A lot of plants we had, unfortunately, we had to get rid of because there's so many worms. These hairy kind of caterpillars like they eat all the plants, like this one, it's turning black. So, and this is uh, some Philippine radish, I think. The leaves are looking better on it. I put some pesticide. The kamati plants are doing better. The okra is at the end of its life. So it's the Kong Kong, but it's still growing. So, so that's kind of a whole view of everything. Like I say, we did a lot of work on this, especially on this property, but this is not ours, <laughs> you know. Hopefully we can negotiate a deal I had to put some weed killer around this little kubo, as it's called, or shed, cause lots of grass was growing up. So, trying to control snakes. And back here, which I love the way the grass is growing, it's really, it's really thick. I had to put a little weed killer back here in an effort to keep the jungle back and let me tell you it's pretty rough and this is like piles of broken tile and stuff I don't know why it's so much broken tile but well pieces they cut up but it ain't bad because I'm using a lot of and I'm going to use a lot of pieces in that pile to build the uh, another project I'm working on oh it looks like it's, it's the rainy season boy does it rain it looks like more clouds coming in so that's kind of a walk all around and through the house so this is what my days are like working here trying to keep the yard clean it looks pretty good but it's a ongoing effort 
I'm gonna tackle that maybe tomorrow or maybe today. So that's a look outside, inside, and around the house. And I am sweating. As you can see, temperature wise, it's not too hot here. But it's always humid. Very humid. Always. And lots of bugs. I've never been here during the rainy season. But it seems like every couple, every month or so, a different bug comes out. You know? And right now it's like an infestation with caterpillars by the thousands. I kill no less than 20 here every day trying to walk up on the terrace, probably more than that. They'll try to get all in the house and everywhere. So it's always a different bug. I've seen so many that wake up and, hey, it's our time. It's like, wow. And things really, really grow during this time of year with so much rain. But anyway, don't want to bore everybody with that. So, to my sweetheart, I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. See that I'm maintaining the house, being vigilant, doing my duty. And, of course, taking a break whenever I can and have a cold San Miguel beer. So, that's the latest and greatest. From here, peace out.